I just generally struggle to care about this in general. I think that if the person asking this question, or if you're trying to answer this question for yourself, like, do I have a non-negotiable reason that I must conventional deadlift from the floor? Like I'm entering a, bar a barbell strength related competition where that is the, you know, the task that I must complete. If that is not the case, as we've talked about before, you have every possible exercise in the world at your, you know, uh, that, that you can, that you can use to uh, facilitate your, your training towards whatever desired outcomes and goals are, are important to you. And so if somebody is not a competitor in a sport that requires it, then it's like, okay, is this just for health? Then I extra don't care about the difference between the two, because, you know, if you, if you told me, Hey, I'm going to have somebody who starts training at pick your age and then a decade, two decades, three decades, however many years later. Uh, between trap bar and conventional deadlift, and then I'm going to measure their resting blood pressure or their hemoglobin A1C or their blood lipids. Would I expect to see a difference? Obviously, no, I wouldn't. Might there end up being over a long enough time frame some differences in their abilities uh, if you were to focus, uh, uh, do a focused analysis of their like hamstring versus quadriceps hypertrophy? Maybe a little bit if that's all they did, right? But at the same time, it's like you're also doing other exercises that probably make yeah. some of that come out in the wash, right? 